Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota 4Runner Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its heated and cooled front seats, its backup camera, as well as its parking sensors. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle, just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota 4Runner Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this limited model is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then taking a closer look you also have your chrome accenting on your front grille. And then at the very front here you'll see your plug and block heater. You have your parking sensors and then you also have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards and then taking a look on the sides here you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, your vortex generators and one of the nice things with the limited model is it does have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. So if you push on it once it'll lock all the doors automatically and then if you put your hand between the handle here it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support, taking a look just over on your left hand side. You have your mirror controls along with your parking sensors on and off, window wiper de-icer, and then you have your on and off switch for your rear cargo power, uh, power outlet. Sorry. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows, along with your seat memory controls. So all you have to do is set up your seating arrangement, then hit set, and driver one or driver two. Now a couple of the uh, features you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function back, mode select, volume control, Bluetooth voice recognition display, and cruise control. Now the other nice thing is you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now just by hitting the display button just on your steering wheel here, you can go through many of the different options on here, including your cruising range as well as your lapse time and a couple of other additional features on here as well. Now you also have an exterior temperature gauge and then a digital compass as well. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here, including your uh, digital clock, hazard lights. Heading into the apps menu, you have your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Down below, you do have your dual zone climate control settings along with your front and rear defroster. Down below there, you'll find your USB and auxiliary with your power outlet, and then you also have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. So depending on how hot or how cold you want it, you can just readjust the dial accordingly. Now you have your 4x4 selector matted to a automatic transmission. You also have your open and close for your power rear window, auto dimming rear view mirror, and then a couple of the controls at the top include your integrated garage door opener, traction control on off, A-track, downhill assist control, with your open and close and your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof, and then your sunglass case holder for those days when it's quite bright outside, but if you do forget your sunglasses, you do have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of your tailgate, you have your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch lease just located underneath your foreigner emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now one of the nice things that comes with the limited models, it does have the tonneau cover in the back. So the nice thing with the tonneau cover is that you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from store to store just so that they're covered up, just so people can't see what you have back there. Now if you do need the additional space, you can actually fold down that uh, rear seat there just in case you do need to uh, move a couple of things. And then you have a couple of areas just located on your left, right front and back side where you can tie down any loose cargo just so it's not shifting around just while you're driving. Now you also have your power outlets in the back there so the nice thing with that is if you're ever out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend you can plug in your tools or if you'd like you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now the other nice thing with this limited model is that you can actually open up the power rear window from the outside just by using the controls you see here. So you, you just want to make sure that you hold down on the button otherwise if you let go part way it's going to keep itself open part way. And then if you need to throw a couple of things on the back really quickly, you can do so. Now, this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. Now, if you do forget to actually lock up the doors just when you close up the window this way, you don't have to worry because it actually automatically locks the doors for you when you close the window. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.